who encourage you to just do it. Lexington, Kentucky, where the number one ranked Kentucky Wildcats take on OVC member Tennessee Tech. This is a Golden Eagles first game of the season between Kentucky and Tennessee Tech. Now against OVC teams, Kentucky has a 13-1 record and 1-0 against Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech against SEC teams all time. Extend its win streak tonight. Set for the second half action. I send it back to Charlie Mack and Joby. Rob, thanks very much. Allen scoring by Kentucky, and then we've talked about Roderick Rhodes and his emergence. He's been right in there mixing it up all night. He didn't quit a minute. Brickett, who stands at the line with six points, also has ten rebounds tonight. Starting lineups in just a minute. You're watching the UK Basketball Television Network. I don't know if Coach Patino is, uh, feels his team is really playing the press well, but Eastern pressed the whole game last year. Really delivers a big bang for the buck. Break, Orlando Johnson leads Eastern with 13 points. Rodney Dent has 12 for Kentucky. The Colonels trailing Kentucky 30. Anything else related to basketball? First half in this game, the inside game carry. Kentucky by 19 will be back after you watch this. Just one field goal to show for his efforts tonight and two free throws. But a great hunt. Very festive looking Kentucky. He really had a good night. Six rebounds to go with those. Over against the Irish. Coach Patino was pointing at the club. calf muscle in the left leg just hasn't come around he had reconstructive surgery Rob Charlie the Wildcats have done and a Wildcat band here at Freedom Hall in Louisville where Rob well, Charlie again the final score Kentucky 98 Ole Miss 64 in this ball game with Kentucky leading Tennessee by 20. We'll be right back. They had only a five or six point lead. Second half about to get underway and I'll turn a fence to run out. Everything starts to click at once and kind of feed on each other. And uh, when that happens, there's not much the opposition can do. And certainly Tennessee has suffered from that here in the first half. One player who we normally see is Jeff Brandt. There you see a good look at the 100 strong Kentucky Wildcat Pep Band. Tonight's game brought to you in part by the new La Quinta Inns. You're not staying at a hotel, you're staying with us. And by the creators of Neon, proud sponsors of our 1994 U.S. Olympic team recognized that he had the numbers on that play three on two for Florida cross just takes it I'm going into the second half at the end of the first for Memphis Tennessee the pyramid where the SEC championship game is about to be played between Florida and Kentucky pleased to have Dave Baker with us again Dave what are your thoughts before today's game Tom, you know, interesting, because of a lack of preparation time, both teams normally like to come out and get up a lot of shots before the game, but both teams were in the locker room for a long period of time today going over X and O's. People wonder who has the advantage, a team like Florida that has not had two as rough games. Do they have a physical advantage because they're better rested, or does Kentucky have the advantage from a mental standpoint because they've gotten through two wars? It'll be interesting to see. And the place is almost totally blue today. A few Gator fans are here, but it's most 3.50 left in the first half, their last bucket. So 20 minutes remain to decide the SEC mentioned. So Kentucky peaking at NCAA tournament time. 
And again, you see the folks that uh, make not only our tournament coverage possible, this grueling four-day set, this time... got the dunk. Twenty-five, twenty-four. Kentucky leads. Let's go back. Shot is not easy to shoot over a seven-foot-one guy. Here's the seven-foot-one guy getting the ball and being Ronnie Eford. 